What's going on guys? Welcome back to Raider World. So in this episode on the Eldorado project, we have the high work saddlebags and hardware kit. These color match four inch dual cut stretch saddlebags are made using high quality OEM grade ABS plastic and come pre-drilled ready to assemble. You can complete this bag setup with the Hogworks One Touch Hardware and Latch Kit in either gloss black or chrome, or you can simply reuse your existing OEM hardware. And if you're getting serious about really stretching out your bagger, pair these bags with a set of Hogworks Color Match Stretch Side Covers. A direct snap-on replacement of your stock covers, these are a perfect complement to any stretch bag. So yeah, I'm excited to get these assembled and put on the bike. This is gonna complete the main look as far as getting it on the road and riding. Now we have a lot more episodes to go as far as getting stuff color matched, accessories and performance stuff. So you don't wanna miss those. We'll get one of these assembled and it's gonna be the exact same thing for the other saddlebag. So we'll get one assembled and then we'll get them on the bike. Let's go. All right, so here you have it, the Hogworks Saddlebag Hardware Kit. There is a lot to see here, so I'm not gonna name every single thing off. I'll go more in depth once we start assembling one of these, but you do wanna go through it and inspect everything, make sure nothing is damaged, broken, and everything functions properly. That way, if you do find something, you can send it back and get a quick replacement. Everything looks good, everything is ready to go and ready to get assembled. Now, what's great about these reflectors here that Hogworks sends is that these red reflectors are not attached so you can easily get these off. You don't have to use a heat gun or anything and pry these off. And then Hogworks does offer these black reflectors on their website that you can easily toss these red ones and swap them out. All right, now that you see what's in the box, let's get one assembled. So Hogworks does provide you a set of locks in the hardware kit, but I'm gonna reuse the locks that are on my stock bags. That way I only need one key. So first thing I'll do is assemble the latch assembly here you have your locking cable. I'll go ahead and run this along the channel. So for your locking cables, you do have a left and a right. You just wanna make sure when you're assembling this that this flat edge is facing this way and this hinge side is facing this way. You have these little grooves. They're gonna line up with these grooves. Just pop it in and then just run the locking cable along the channel. Like I said, you have these little grooves that'll line up here to lock it into place. Now I have the locking cable ran through the channel. We have this towards the front and then we'll get this part assembled. So to assemble the locking cable, you have your spring, your washer, your M3 screw, and your barrel bolt. I'll take the spring. This longer end is gonna go towards your locking cable. You'll insert it into here. And then the smaller end is gonna go inside this hole right here. So I'll take the barrel bolt and go in from the other side, pop that in, line it up with this hole here. I'll take my M3 screw with washer and put this in. We have our barrel bolt on the back and we have our small M3 screw with washer and then we have our spring. So now I'll install the locking arm. It does matter uh, which way it's orientated. You want this end going towards here. So we'll just snap that on. Now I'll install the lever coupler. You have two holes here. You just match those up and it goes in right there. I'll take the front locking plate. I'll slide it into here and it goes on top just like that. And I'll secure the front lock plate with a washer and a self-tapping screw. So here, I already have the lock arm seal installed. All you have to do is just peel it off and stick it on. Now 
Now I'll install the rear lock plate. You have this cross pattern. You're going to line it up with this cross pattern here. And I'll secure it down with a self-tapping screw and washer. So for the latch assembly, these are marked with right and left. I'll take my latch assembly and put it inside the lid. Just make sure you have something to protect your lid while you're assembling it. And then just make sure all your holes are lined up and I'll secure it down with some self-tapping screws. Now I'll install the hinge assembly. I'll set it down on here and I'll secure it down with two self-tapping screws. So here you have the four screws that secure down the latch assembly. And then you have your hinge with two screws that secure it down. So like I said, I'm gonna reuse the locks I already had. That way I only need one key. So I'll install the lock from the inside. You just wanna make sure that these notches are lining up with your locking cable. And here I'll use a short M4 screws with washers. I'll go ahead and secure my lock cable. It is gonna sit in this groove. Just make sure you have it lined up correctly. And then I'll secure my nut. So now I'll install the lever with the O-ring with a longer screw and washer. So I'll put the O-ring in first. You want the lever going towards the front. Now I'll take the longer screw with washer and secure it down. So you can use blue Loctite on this screw so this lever doesn't come loose on you, but I'm gonna skip that for now. Now that I installed the lever, I'm gonna check the lock just to make sure everything is functioning properly. So now I'll go ahead and secure the tether to the saddlebag lid. You have your tether supports. Just slide these into here. I'll take two self-tapping screws. I'll work them through here. You have two holes already. Obviously you want this logo facing up when you open your saddlebag. And then you'll secure your tether support right here. And I'll take my other tether support and stick it in here for now. Here I have my right saddlebag latch cover. I'm gonna install my black reflector. Just make sure you have a clean surface before you stick it on. I'll scratch the back just to activate that adhesive or you can heat it up with a heat gun. Just make sure you have it lined up first before you stick it on. So I'll start with the back first and work to the front. And I'll apply some even pressure for about 30 to 60 seconds. Now I'll install the latch cover. Obviously the lock hole goes towards the lock and then you have three mounting locations. Push them inside the holes and I'll secure the latch down with three short M4 screws and washers. Now before you stick on your gasket, just make sure you have a clean surface along the channel. So I'll just start on one end and work my way around. So now I'm gonna assemble the saddlebag so I can get it mounted on the bike. It's gonna make it a little easier to attach everything else. So first I'll install the two strike brackets. Each of these take four screws and I'm using the short M4 screws with washers. Now just make sure you're taking your time when you're screwing these down. You don't want your screwdriver to slip and scratch your paint.
Now I'll install the two grommets. The fatter side is gonna go towards the outside. Now I'll install the saddlebag cushions on the bottom. You have two of them. You have these two holes here. You just pop them in on the bottom. And then just reach from the inside and pull them all the way through. Now I'll mount the saddlebag so I can get everything else attached. So from the hinge assembly, I'll attach the lid to the bag and I'm using two short M4 screws with washers. These will go in the middle. And now I'll attach my tether support. Then from here, just double check your saddlebag, make sure it opens and closes that the seal is good all the way around. Hard work saddle bag and hardware kit. Hard work saddle bag and hardware kit. So in this episode on the El Dorado project, we have the hard works episode. We have the hard works episode. We have the hard works episode. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, install them by yourself. <laughs> no instructions needed. So yeah, I'm excited to get these assembled. 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 So yeah, I'm excited to get these on the bag. On the bag. There is a lot to see here. I won't name everything off. I'll go more in deep, more in deep. I'll get more in deep, in deep. We'll get them on the bike and then we'll get done. And then we'll get done. And then we'll get done. That's what happens when it's two in the morning. <laughs> we'll get done, I just wanna be done. <laughs>